59th and 3rd. What? 59th and 3rd. Still haven't gotten used to these things. I say I, I say I, I say I still haven't gotten used to these things. Right. If you heard about this foreign country where the cab drivers needed bulletproof glass, what would you say? You wouldn't believe it. Uh, should I take the park or go around? What? What? I usually take the park. I, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, which do you want? Not only can't I shoot you, I can't hear you. Do you want me to take the park? What? What? I'm taking the park. Why are you taking the park? I have an appointment. My name is... Evers. Oh, yes, Mr. Evers. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought it said Mr. Evers. Mr. Evers, isn't that what it said? Yes, yes. Oh, good. For a second there, I, I thought it said Mr. Evans instead of Mr. Evers. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Evers. Harry! How are you? What are you doing here, Marvin? Well, I thought we'd, uh, we'd grab a bite together before the game tonight. How did you know I was here? Well, your, uh, your secretary told me. My secretary told you I was here? I, uh, I didn't know you got the ax. didn't get the axe. Well, then, uh... Well, we're expanding, and I'm looking for some new executives. Mr. Evers. Oh, thank you. Maybe, uh, maybe these people could, could help me. You need a job? No, I need a, a top guy to work for me. Who, who work cheap. To do what? Well, to run my business for me, be, before I kill it. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Everybody thinks there's a fortune in the garment business, but uh, if, if I don't come up with a big style soon, uh, I'm bankrupt. Well, Mr. Evers, you can go in. Oh. Oh, uh, come in. One. Oh, boy, I've got to get another job. I mean, the stories you hear. Like that fellow that just left. He's got six kids. He's worked 32 years with the same company. No savings, and he's out. Just out. No one always gets you when they say, I don't have to make as much money. Oh. What's the matter with me? Lately, I'm going through two boxes a week. Listen, maybe it would be better for you if I came back at another time. No, 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 no. It's all right. Ah, oh, now, may I see your resume? Sure. How long have you been out of work? Well, I'm not actually out of work. It's just that I produced this uh, daytime television program. Oh, which one? Let's chance it. Uh-huh. Oh. Anyway, um, 
the ratings have been slipping, and oh, I, I don't think that that they're going to cancel it. I mean, I don't think that they'd really fire me, but I thought maybe if there were some better opportunities. Well, I don't think you're going to have any problem at all. Do you mean that? Well, with this background, I can practically guarantee you the salary you want, and you could almost pick the part of the country you want to settle in. Oh, my. Oh, my. I can't tell you how that makes me feel. I was so worried. The ratings, everything my wife said, you don't have anything to worry about, and she was right. I'll just write some letters to the companies we deal with, and you can come in next week and sift through the offers. Can't tell you how that makes me feel. I feel so relieved. Relieved? That isn't the right word. I feel terrific. Me too. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I'll get in touch with you next week at the latest, Mr. Wood. My name isn't Wood. That's what it says on the resume. A man out there handed me a resume. That must have been Mr. Wood. Okay, let's see your resume. A year and a quarter of college. Look, you want to talk to Wood? You put down here that you were once an usher. A page boy. Not an usher, a page boy. I'm sorry. What's the difference? Well, there isn't any. All right, and you produce this TV show, Let's Chance It, for five years, and before that, you assisted somebody who did it. And now you're willing to relocate and change fields? Work for less money? <laughs> Harry, right now you have a good job. Believe me, you have a good job. What if I lose it? If you lose it, it is no longer a good job. Harry, I want you to come and see me next week. For what? What's the use? Well, please. Come on, come back next week, huh? Come back, will you? Well, if you want me to. Where are you going now? I don't know. Get something to eat, to go to my poker game. You know, your wife is still right. There's nothing to worry about. She usually is. Second marriage. No, no, first. My marriage is the only thing I've got working for me. Uh, Harry, about the poker game. You don't play for a lot of money, do you? No. Good. You know, it's just no fun the way we've been playing. Why not raise the stakes a little at a time? That way we can see how it's all gonna turn out. The point is, we haven't been playing poker. Can somebody tell me what we've been doing every Thursday night for four years? Playing cards, not poker. Look, when you can't bet enough to force anybody out, it's just not poker. It's a friendly game. We don't want anybody to get hurt. Oh. Oh, I mean, what are you gonna lose? A couple of hundred bucks. <coughs> no, let's try it. <coughs> Unless, Harry, you, you don't want to play for that much. No, it's fine with me. Let's play cards. Tonight, it's poker. Shoot 900. Uh, yeah, that all adds up. Okay, here it is. Dave, you're down $710. Uh, you wanted to raise the stakes. I'm down 380. Do you know with the old stakes, that would have been a record loss. Tonight is like being a winner. Mike, you, uh, you owe $950. 950 You guys had quite a night. Quite a night. Quite a night. I guess we were pretty lucky. We just, uh, just had a hard corner, I guess. Bob, Bob, <laughs> you, uh, you owe, uh, you owe $1,675. One, one hundred, no, six hundred. Uh, um, what was that? Bob, it's $1,675. Sixteen hundred dollars. I have to work a long time for that kind of money. 380. That's mine. Harry, you won 2450. Marvin, you won 1265. Split it up. 
This is really very embarrassing to win this much money. I don't know what to say. I feel terrible taking it. Dick, do you have any ice water? In the refrigerator. Winning this much, it's, it's terrible. That's what's so rotten about the stakes, you know? I mean, the, the winners feel rotten. And the losers feel even worse. It's just uh, terrible. now oh oh dick mm -hmm. you paid didn't you this is yours in the middle isn't it that's fine oh you guys gonna pay or you want uh, our seconds to contact you in the morning <laughs> <laughs> oh, i guess uh, i guess i shouldn't joke about it um it is a lot of money to lose uh... no. oh bob wait uh you owe 1675 I'm not going to pay. You agreed to the stakes. Agreed to it. It was his idea. Look, if uh, you're a little shorter. Short? No, no. I've got the money. I just refused to pay. Bob, you can't do that. I mean, you can't just do that. <laughs> well, I know one thing. If he can do it, so can I. You'll never play in this game again, ever. What game? Oh, you guys gonna play three-handed or something? No. Well, wait a minute, everybody. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's no more game. Come on, Harry. What are you gonna do about it? Bob, I think I'm going to hit you. No? We're not tough guys. We're not kids. We're all just businessmen. And businessmen don't go around hitting each other. So let's try to act civilized. Hey, this is my house. I don't want anything broken. Goodbye. Bob. Bob, wait. Mm. I think I'm going to hit you again. Ala! 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 Bob, you're a dirty fighter. Why don't you fight fair? Ala! Who do you hit me for? For bluffing me with four of Not fair. Oh, I'm sorry. I want you out of my house. Okay, Marvin, I warned you. The table's okay. I don't want to fight you, Dick. I mean, I mean, you play ball in college and I didn't, and you work out and I don't. The coffee table is okay. Let go. Yeah, let go. You better let go. Oh, my God, I think my tooth is loose. Let go. No. I was chickened out when I was a kid. I'm not going to chicken out now. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not going to let go. What are you talking about? You got to let go of him sooner or later anyway. What, are you going to go through life like that? Okay, mister, I'm going to tell you again. What's that mister business? You're not Jimmy Cagney. Oh. I'm winning. How do you like that? I'm winning. I'm losing. Marvin, I'm losing. I want you out of the house. Yeah. 